uh, all right, I uh, I got a startup, the Leo startup, and I have some uh, I I have some uh, I have a great idea, but where do I, so help me help me uh, let's do the methodologies. Let's yeah. walk through. Yeah, let's this. talk about let's talk about PillPack. You just talked about all right, PillPack. Pill I actually Good. I actually don't know anything about them. They're not I should say they're not an they're investment not or anything. Okay. I'm just gonna I was just looking at that and imagining how you might test that idea. You know, if we if we rewound and imagine them thinking of that for the first time, thinking of that, you know, we want to do something with a box and we want to you know have have the packages labeled nicely, and really easy to understand. And would that idea be compelling enough that you know people would switch to this this new pharmacy? You know, it's just kind of a kind of a you know, so kind of a kind of taking a jump to do that, right? Leap. Right. That's the yeah. that's the challenge for them is uh, is because there's a fairly big speed bump, which is you yeah. I'm used to going down the street to Walgreens right. or whatever. I got it all so, wired. Yeah. I mean, it may not yeah. be the best experience in the world, but it's but it works. Yeah. So you can imagine them in their sprint talking about those ideas. They'd get the team together, right? So they'd they'd figure out who's the and maybe at that, maybe in that early stage, the whole team is like five people. But if it's a bigger company, if it's a bigger, you know, set of folks, then you you choose kind of a diverse team. So you want one person in the room who's a decision maker. You want one person in a room who is an expert on the customer. Uh, one person who's going to be the facilitator, who's going to kind of keep track of time. And then you just want like a bunch of different skill sets, something that kind of represents your team well. And throughout the course of the week on Monday, you you'd make a map of everything that you kind of know. You're just laying out there, hey, who are our potential customers and how do they find out about our product? Where are they going to discover it? And then what's going to happen as they, you know, as they sign up for the first time, as they get their first box of pills, how is that process going to work? And so that's Monday. And then on Tuesday, you'd sketch solutions to it. On Wednesday, you'd make decisions about it and make a storyboard, make a plan for your prototype. And then on on Thursday, you'd build that prototype. And you can imagine for, for PillPack, you know, they might they might say, well, we can build, we can make one of those boxes. Or perhaps what they do is actually just mock up the, the marketing page for it. So if they say, you know, a lot of people are going to hear about this when they search for something online or they're going to hear about it from their doctor or they're going to hear about it from Leo. They just mock up that that discovery point and maybe just the website. And maybe they compare it in the test on Friday against some other pharmacies or some other you know similar services. And on Friday, they show it to five of their target customers, five people who they think might be you know, the, the folks who are going to adopt this first. And they make it look as realistic as possible so that when you do that test, the rest of the team can watch. And just one-on-one, -on -one, you're showing it to a customer. The rest of the team watches in another room over video. You just take notes. And by the end of the day, you, you can see these big patterns. Even with just five people, you can start to see, okay, well, that, you know, that part worked, that part didn't, and now we know what to do next. And if you've ever started a big thing, a big complex problem, you know that's like a huge deal to, to have clarity about what to do. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, with that's you know when we designed our new website, I wish we had done that, but uh, <laughs> uh, I just said I'm the decider in chief, and this is what we're going to do. <laughs> well, that's another way. I mean, that is also very effective. That's, somebody, uh, that's a... somebody needs to take charge. You actually have a decider on the team. Yeah, and actually, that's really important. I mean, I think all too often teams make decisions by consensus, or they don't really—they're not really clear on who the decider is. There's some ambiguity about who makes the decisions. Yeah, when we first started the process, there was this kind of thinking that it might be a democracy among all the stakeholders. So, uh, and the first time we it, actually we went through a process where it was, it didn't work at all. And so I just said, "Well, I'm the decider." So now, because I'm writing the check, so now what? <laughs> yeah. So you have to have that person. You do. You end up with better. With better outcomes. But you also because, have to empower other members of the team as well, right? Well, yeah. What we, what we want to do is empower everyone by giving them a chance to have their idea uh, on a level playing field yeah. with everyone else's idea. So a lot of times people discuss ideas. And you can imagine in, this, in our sprint with Slack, there's one idea that comes from the CEO and another idea that comes from, you know, just someone on the team. And, and the normal dynamic, I mean – Stuart's really cool, but like the, the normal dynamic of a company, we have like the CEO and then like some, some team member's idea is that everybody's going to want to just go with the team member's idea. And so even if you, even if you have, you know, this sort of you know, bias coming in about whose ideas are best, or even if somebody's really good at making a sales pitch, whatever it is, that they're not going to get that advantage in the sprint. 
the sketches stand on their own. They're anonymous. And, um, and they're evaluated in silence at first, actually. So what you, what you end up with is, um, is a, you know, ideas can come from anywhere, but the ultimate decision will be made by the decision maker and, and informed by data at the end of the week. 